I've just had the police here chapping the door. They've literally went back again, but the lights are flashing. Hi guys, so we're back out. I've came somewhere that I've wanted to come for ages and to just recharge my batteries. Take a look at where I am. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And this is all mine. There's nobody else here. That's the car park over there. So it does say on park for night if you can get the shoreline, that's the best parking spot. Water's right there. And there's Dobby. Got a nice wee sunset as well. So this is where we're going to be for two nights. It's just beautiful, man. Look at that. Somebody's even left his firewood. We might get that going a wee bit later. But look at that. It's just stunning. Ah, so that's me all set up. I did try and get here a wee bit earlier, but... We never got here till about three, maybe just touching four o'clock. So um, I'm a wee bit gutted with that because I've missed a lot of the light. This video was just about chilling out, relaxing. I'm so glad I got the spot that I was looking to get on a uh, park for night. So we've got the whole place to ourselves. I'm going to get a lot of writing done, get some recording done and get some video editing done because I've, uh, I'm so behind on trips and stuff like that. So I... Uh, I bought a Tesco salad for my dinner. Gonna have that and a wee cup of tea, chill, and then get some writing done. So as always guys, if you want to enjoy the video and you want to support the channel, like, comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't already joined, why not consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification so you're always notified when I release a new video. <laughs> Is it just me or am I the only one that likes to leave the tea bag in the actual cup? Let me know in the comments because I don't know why but I just like leaving the tea bag in the cup. Mmm. Lovely. I'm going to get a wee bit of food, finish my tea and then get started writing. Catch you in a bit. It is pitch black. Like I can't even see anything in front of me. I can barely even see the van. Surely there must be a bin somewhere here. Oh, nearly went. Well, if there's a bin, I'm not seeing it. Back to the van we go. I can't see a bin anywhere and it's like minus one. So, sack it. We'll just put it in our bag and we'll deal with it tomorrow. I just don't want the juices going everywhere. Hey. Chim. 
be alright to the morrow, and then we'll find somewhere to put it. So I'm not the best guitar player by any stretch of the imagination but I can find my way a wee bit. So I've been writing this song um, from the perspective of someone that's lost somebody and it's like a day in their life of how they're feeling. They just kind of get over the fact that they're gone and they can be gone in any capacity whether they've left or whether they've died. The version that I feel that I've got in my head is the person has died and I called it Can't Move On. Another night of sleep without you Another night I'm trying to get you through But when I close my eyes at night I'll be there right next to you And then it goes into the pre-chorus which goes up a wee bit higher I hate I can't be there with you Baby, I just wanna dance with you Don't know how to move on I don't wanna move on Without you, baby and Then that goes into the chorus So the first verse is quite um, quite low, quite reflective and then the pre-chorus is, you know, in my head expressing how they just kind of do without this person and then the chorus is just a big chorus so I'll see if I can play it and sing it at the same time but to me, it's like I'm trying my best to learn how to play guitar and sing at the same time but it's one of the things that's like, you know, rub your belly and pat your head kind of thing so, <laughs> so bear with me, I'll try my best, right? One thing I'm going to say is, is I've not put any heating on and it's freezing <laughs> like my fingers are so numb it's actually helping hold the strings a wee bit but if my fingers are slipping off the strings you know why so let's do the chorus oh, I forgot it <laughs> right there we go there we go What do you think? Let me know in the comments. So I brought a secret weapon for tonight because I knew it was going to be minus one, minus two. Don't laugh because it's got balls on it. <laughs> An extra long hot water bottle. Let's get this boiled up. So I think tonight I'm going to be just having a warm water bottle instead of a hot water bottle. If you've ever used this stuff, you'll know what I'm talking about. The isobutane camping gas. So I think I'm going to need to sleep with this in my sleeping bag tonight just to warm it up a bit. But that is what it is. But any heat's better than no heat, so I'll take it. So this is me the night and I can already tell you I'm going to be boiling in this. You've got the outer which is the sleeping bag, then you've got the wee blanket and then the hot water bottle. Now when I done North Bear Week, probably January last year, all I had was the sleeping bag and it was toasty. So I'm going to be boiling in this. Let's get into it because it's starting to get cold. Look at this. Beautiful, but it's cold. Right, 
there's the wee fire pit that I saw last night and somebody's left some wood in it but I'm not going to get that lighted tonight if I can focus on it See, this is the annoying part and the nice part about having windows all around your van. You've got to take off the condensation in the morning. Take off the midget. This thing is a must for a micro camper. I know I coloured it back in North Berwick, but Look how much water that's took from the windows. Definitely get one of these, but look at that view. It was a very cold one last night. All the layers in that sleeping bag helped. And I ended up getting up at, I think it was three in the morning, because <laughs> if you see here, look. I had the gas in the sleeping bag. I think I've got three of them. Right, there's, if you see there, look, there's three. <laughs> I've put the three of them in the sleeping bag with me so they're nice and toasty and I'll use them for cooking and stuff. I'm going to get some breakfast and then get recording. I'm going to give it a wee sweep out as well. I'm going with the apple and blueberry flavour. No, that's not even done anything. You can see it on the camera. Right, so we'll do a changeover. Get a wee shake. There's a guy over there fishing. Yeah, there's like a there's like a wee drop left. It just doesn't work well in cold conditions. I looked at the weather the other day and it said it's just going to be cold and it's going to be dry and tonight it's supposed to be snowing quite heavily so if I thought it was cold last night wait till you see what the night's going to be like. I was actually looking at the ground outside as well just to make sure that if it did snow I'm not going to get snowed in but I should be alright. Gas seems to be working better. I did bring eggs as well. <laughs> I put them in this wee bag. Look. Oh, the wee guy's moved. He's came closer to me for his fishing. Oh, I need this tea in my life right now. Melsk. Some view. It's fishing rod right there. The thing is, it shouldn't be a tune because I tuned it last night. But there's always room forever. Done. I'm just trying to get myself warmed up for the day. I know I've got that song, uh, Can't Move On. I can't remember if I put it on a capo or not. See, my 
much it goes everywhere. In my head, I know how to do it, but then when I sing and play at the same time, it goes. Brrr. It's like one has to take over the other. <laughs> so see if anybody's got any tips on how to play and sing at the same time. Leave it in the comments. Thinking about it till we had a way let you slip away mm -hmm. I know there's no way to take it back but I want to And even if I go and try to settle down I still want you So while I was putting stuff away, I just reminded myself um, that I forgot to show you a new addition to the van. By new addition, I mean new extension. That's it there. So you can see the gap, and that's the chair all the way forward. So it's quite a gap. And I don't really mind this um, not having any foam, because no one's sitting there anyway. But at night, the pillows would just fall down there. So I made this. And it just locks into place. So it's nice and sturdy. So I still need to paint it. It was just to make it so that the pillows would stop falling down. I'll get out and I'll show you what's actually holding it up. So it's just wee brackets. And then when I want to pull it down, I just pull the two of them. And that brings it down. Wee bed extension. <laughs> The starlit sky, our love secret line, like leaves we soar so high. Beneath the moonlight, self touch your hand in mine, it gets me every time. I thought I'd go a wee walk along this shore. It is bloody Baltic, I'll tell you that, but it's gorgeous. It's a very interesting sign here as well. So basically it's just dropping off. That's scary. I wonder how deep it actually goes. Do you know what's even scarier? is the guy that was fishing was walking away out there but I'm sure if he's fished here before they'll know what he's doing so shut up Robert <laughs> Anybody want some mushrooms for dinner? I wonder if you ate them if they would kill you Let's not find it
This would be a cracking bit to come and camp at. I keep seeing things like that. Rope hanging for trees. And I don't want to presume that people are offing themselves here, but that is quite a strange one. I'm going to choose to believe they've been making swings. That's what I want to believe, I want to believe they're just making swings. But I'm going to head back because it is bloody Baltic and I'm going to make some soup. Because I'm hungry. I've been thinking as well about content for you guys and stuff. Do you know what though? I just, I can't wait to do the North Coast 500. The Outer Herbides, doing the Irish Sky, Harris, hopefully get them done 2024. That's the goal. Can we just for a second though, look at that view. That's Dobby. So this is where we are. Loch Fenneker. As you can see, from March to September, you need a permit, but October, November, December, January, February, it's free. See, there's the other one, or rather two rather. Right next to Dobby. I'm going to say they're swings. So, get a door shut, get some lights on. There we are, oh, turn them down a bit. So, there's supposed to be snow coming tonight, which should be quite exciting. So, I'm going to make some soup, pea and ham soup, a couple of slices of bread. I'm going to make another hot water bottle. I was originally going to record, um, but I quite enjoyed just having a writing session earlier on and last night. So while I'm feeling inspired, I feel like I may as well just let the the tap flow, <laughs> so to speak. I've got a couple of ideas for other songs and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my iPad up and do some writing on other songs as well. That's the plan, so let's do it. I was thinking about these lyrics when we're, when we're walking along now and it speaks about a breakup and somebody's struggling to deal with it. It's basically told from that person's point of view where they're just struggling with the breakup and you know it's like I'm not really good at explaining my own songs <laughs> that I've noticed. Someone split up with this person, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever and every night they're crying and they stay with their mum for some reason. Maybe they move back in with their mum. But every single time the person that's left contacts, the person that's hurt and will be like, nah, I'm fine, it's all right, don't worry about it. But really, they're not fine. And the verse kind of speaks to that. So the verse is, guess it's another night I'm supposed to cry. One more tear for my mum to dry. I'm telling you that I'm fine, just needing time. But the truth is I'm not doing all right. And then the pre-chorus, this is how the person's really feeling inside. So it's like, see, I can do without this hurting, and I can do without these sleepless nights. Only God knows how I'm feeling. These thoughts prevent me from healing. How can you move on without any care? And for the chorus, it's kind of simple. It's just shine a light, shine, shine a light. I hate saying lyrics out loud because it just sounds stupid. Lyrics spoken aren't the same as being sung. Because the verse and the pre-chorus are so busy, I wanted to keep the chorus light, pardon the pun, because the song's called Shine A Light. I wanted to keep the chorus light and open, so even though this person's left, the person that's hurting is saying, shine a light and I'll see you. And in other words, I'll just come running, because the love and the power that this person's got on them is just that powerful that they just, they'll do anything to get them back. That's kind of where I went with it. This is probably one of these ones that I can't play live, right? <laughs> I'm just forewarning you. I'll see if I can do it. Guess it's another night I'm supposed to cry One more tea for my mom to dry I can do it that there's hurting And I can do it that there's sleepless nights So then I'll overdub over that as the chorus will be Shine a light, shine, shine a light 
to see you I see you I see you And then it just keeps going and going and going It's just a simple lyric Guess it's another night I'm supposed to cry One more tea for my mom to try Telling you that I'm fine, just needing time. But the truth is, I'm not doing alright. See, I can do without this hurting. See, I can do without these sleepless nights. Only thought of that. Something like that. However, I was looking on Splice and I found a sample that I quite liked. It kind of matches this song as well, but it's totally different. So this is more obviously acoustic. This other one is more, I don't know, R&B, electro kind of. I think the Splice sample is in a different key. You decide what one's better, right? So there's the guitar version and what I'll do is I'll set it up and I'll let you hear the Splice version. So I forgot as well, I've already added drums and a bass to it. Just a simple kick and a snap or snare um, with a, an easy bass line as well and some hi-hats just to change up the arrangement. But it's super simple, so this is it with everything in. So I think off the bat, this is going to automatically just be better. To be fair, I kind of prefer this one, but I like the stripped down versions of acoustics. So this is with the drums. Feel that bass. I wanted to keep it super clean and super easy, right? So it is in a different key. The idea that I've got for it is putting harmonies, background vocals in the pre chorus just to lift it. But the track is just super simple. I wanted to keep it simple just so the vocal could shine and the lyrics could shine more. That was my intention. We'll do a pass at this, right? And then you just can let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Which one's better? Deal? Let's do it. La 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 la. Let me get the key. Let's see if I can get it. Guess it's another night I'm supposed to cry. One more tea for my mom to try. I'm telling you that I'm fine, just needing time But the truth is I'm not doing alright See I can do it that this hurting And I can do it that these sleepless nights Only God knows how I'm feeling These thoughts prevent me from healing How can you move on without any care? And then it goes into the chorus So I'll bring it back just to get to the chorus And obviously I'll see you comes in at certain points. So what one do you prefer? You tell me at the end of the video. So I was just about to start making my soup and I felt the cans of gas and they're just absolutely freezing. So I forgot that I have that and quite a bit of it, but I've also remembered that I've got my old camping stove that I used to take when I went tent camping. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to set up for outside because I don't really trust the flame inside. So I'm going to set it up outside and cook my dinner in the freezing cold. Just so we've got extra light. Just so I can see what I'm doing. 
get the pot and the gas and the soup. So I've just chucked two cans in because I'm hungry. What's like baby food? It's just pitch black out there. Do you know what? I think I'm just going to eat this straight out of the pot. I mean, go bother with a bowl. I'd say that's ready. That's fine to go as is. I'm going to go and bring my equipment in and then I'm going to tuck into this. So. I've just had the police here chapping the door. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I get my hat on. This is a good one. Hold on. So, do you know what? I'm not even putting my lapel mic on for this one. Um, I just got the knock. After my soup, I was watching Netflix. All the lights were out, stuff like that. All the window covers are up, apart from the back one. But the rest are up. I heard a car coming in. They go up to the main car park, reverse, and then point down this way. And then, see like the lights that you get above um, the roof, like the roof lights? They go on. So obviously they want to see this car. And then it drives down and then all I heard was footsteps. And I'm like... Is it maybe Park Rangers or what? All I heard was, well, louder than that on the van. But they never said anything. Me being me, I opened the door. If I was going to get murdered or something, it could have been anybody, right? But I figured that I had maybe, maybe I had a chance because there was a barrier between us, right? This is what's in front of me. So I've put the, the extended bit up. That was on there to make a copper. And there's other shit there, but obviously this is in the way, so they couldn't really get in. And the backrest is up there as well. So I opened the door and it was the police. <laughs> uh, it was the police. And they were asking me if I was alright. And I says, yeah, I'm fine. Um, I'm just uh, camping for two days. Like, I'm fine. And she says, no, someone in the area was needing assistance or required assistance. Which isn't funny in itself if they need assistance, but... I was like, no, I'm fine. Now, bear in mind, this van was in complete darkness. Like, there, there was no way they could tell if somebody was in here because they never even had a flashlight or anything, right? It was just the light from the car. But it's complete blackness. Um, and I could have had somebody in there. I could have easily been kidnapped or somebody. Um, I never. Aye, that was surreal. So... They've literally went back again. But the lights are flashing. I hope they find the person. Aye, they asked me uh, my phone number to see if it matches the number. Uh, and I don't care, I just give people my details apparently. <laughs> um, how many camping trips is this I've had? My fifth, maybe? And that's the first time that somebody's knocked a van. I'm in the club. <laughs> but it's also concerning that my safety isn't really a priority to me I'm just opening doors to anybody I don't really, you know, look out the window Or I don't ask who it is, you know I'm just, of all the places I've been This isn't the place I thought I would get a knock But the other thing is, is when they went back to the car They turned their lights off Like all of the lights But now nah, they were nice enough And they said we don't have a problem with you staying here So I leave tomorrow morning early I'll see you in the morning if I make it Oh no snow. <laughs> well guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did go and enjoy the video, why not drop me a wee like and a comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.